Hey folks, it's Antara and I'm back with a new battle. Actually, it's an old battle. I recorded it about a month ago. I've got a bunch of battles, actually, that I've recorded. Um, I recorded before I got my new computer that I still need to uh, edit and upload. So here's the first. Um, I'm using my uh, my Trick Room team, um, and I'm against uh, a worthy opponent on um, Wi-Fi. He's not using any Ubers, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, so I decide to go with uh, my Empoleon Uxy lead variation, uh, and I'm trying to decide who else to go with, um, and I defi finally decide after much consideration to uh, have Zapdos as my fourth, even though Zapdos, I don't, don't usually use Zapdos um, when I lead off with Uxy and Empoleon, um, but this is for when the Trick Room goes down, I figure. So... Um, we both send out our Pokemon, and he's got a Sandstorm up, which is interesting um, with Gengar because Gengar is usually uh, usually has a um, Focus Sash, and the Sandstorm is going to break its Focus Sash. So I decided to try to take out Tyranitar with a Hydro Pump um, and set up a Trick Room uh, with Uxy. Gengar uses Shadow Ball. Um, good to know it's probably not running Focus Blast because then it would have attacked Empoleon. Um, Uxy takes it like a champ. Uh, Tyranitar uses Earthquake, um, which I guess that's why he's using Gengar with um, Tyranitar. But uh, it's not sta it's not um, it doesn't have same type attack bonus, so uh, it's okay. Um, Empoleon's Hydro Pump misses, which sucks. Uh, that attacks accuracy. I uh, really wish it were higher. Uh, I guess I could use Surf, or, well, I, I guess not Surf, but I could use some other move. Um, anyway, so there's some Sand uh, Storm going on. Uh, Empoleon is going to go ahead and try to do a Hydro Pump again. Um, what's nice is that both of his Pokemon are faster than my Pokemon, so that means that I get to go first this time. Um, and in case the uh, attack misses and he uses another Earthquake, now Uxie is going to be the one floating in the air, or, sorry, Uxie is going to be the one on the ground, and Empoleon is going to be floating in the air. My little flying penguin. Um, anyway, Tyranitar does go ahead and use Earthquake because Hydro Pump does miss again. And look at the difference in how much damage that does. It does nothing against Uxy. Uh, Uxy is, um, you know, phys physically defensive and is a freaking tank. Um, is taken out by a Shadow Ball. Uh, it happens. But that's okay. Uxy's use at this point was limited. Um, so Uxy goes down slowly. Um, and I go ahead and send out Metagross, who can use Earthquake with Impunity because Empoleon is floating up in the air. I really wish they had, you know, an, an animation that showed that, you know, rather than just, you know, he's got the levitate ability, but you don't really see that. So I'm being stubborn. I'm going to try to use a Hydro Pump again. Um, and I'm going to have uh, Metagross use Hammer Arm. Um, I don't remember which is going to go first. Uh, and that was actually a, kind of a stupid move, because if, if Hydro Pump does end up taking out uh, Tyranitar, which it actually doesn't, but if, if it had, then uh, Hammer Arm would have done nothing against, um, what's his name? Gengar, because Gengar's Ghost-type. Anyway, here goes the Hammer Arm. So Tyranitar is taken down, which is nice, because... Metagross is um, weak against uh, Earthquake, but, you know, uh, it's also pretty bulky, so it wouldn't have been hurt that much. Uh, Gengar goes ahead and uses Hypnosis, uh, putting my Empoleon to sleep. Um, yeah, interesting. I I would never run Hypnosis. Um, 55, isn't it 55% accuracy? That's way, way too low. So I'm having um, Empoleon use Blizzard. Um, you know, just in case it wakes up, but it, it almost certainly won't. Uh, Metagross is going to go ahead and use Psychic against uh, Gengar to take it out. You know, Gengar is a, a glass cannon. Um, hits really hard, um, really fast, but is a frail little beast and will succumb to the weakest of attacks. Uh, X-Scissor does neutral damage against Metagross, um, and Metagross is just like, whatever, I don't care. Um... So, neither of my guys are going to be hurt by the Sandstorm. The Sandstorm is hurting him more than it's hurting me. Uh, and he sends out Dragonite. Um, so, I'm going to keep on with that Blizzard, uh, hoping that Empoleon wakes up. Uh, Metagross is going to go ahead and... Uh, I guess I'm considering what to do. Uh, and I finally decide, after much consideration, 
to go with Psychic against Leafeon. Oh, wait, no, Psychic against Dragonite. Just kidding. Um, probably I should have used Psychic against Leafeon. Dragonite's 4x weak, but I guess, you know, Dragonite's the bigger threat. Uh, Empoleon uses Blizzard. Um, it actually misses Dragonite. Uh, actually, it misses both of them. Uh, this is not um, my Empoleon's day. Um, all of its attacks seem to be missing. Anyway, uh, what did he use? Outrage? Uh, whatever it was, it was, yeah, it was Outrage, I think, which is stupid because, you know, random target, you know, it's not going to hit the person you want to hit more likely than not. Also, it's resisted by both of my guys. Um, so the sense, the, um, trick room ends, um, but, uh, you know, he's, his Dragonite's locked into Outrage, so I'm thinking I've got a good chance of him, of it not selecting any useful target, so I'm going to keep on attacking. Leafeon goes ahead and uses a Leaf Blade. Um, which is a neutral hit, uh, and Empoleon hang, hangs in there. Oh yeah, he got the, um, sunny day up, so he's, I guess, a mixed weather team. I guess that's kind of useful. So Outrage goes against Metagross again, even though it would have taken out Empoleon, and I think he's about to wish that it had taken on, taken out Empoleon, because, yeah, Blizzard hits Leafeon, um, delivering what's basically a one-hit KO, um, Leafeon goes down, and does it hit Dragonite? That's the question. Um, no, Dragonite, uh, it avoids the attack again. But I go ahead and use Psychic, um, which gets Dragonite down to, uh, like a third HP, so, and now he's gotten confused. So I've got this match well in hand, uh, I'm gonna win it. Um, but, so I go ahead and use two priority moves, um, I think I, yep, two priority moves. And Polyon uses Aqua Jet, which does absolutely nothing, but, you know, that was kind of expected. It does have the, um, the water boost, the, um, torrent boost, I guess, but still does not absolutely nothing. But, uh, Bullet Punch delivers the KO, and I have won the match, uh, with only one KO, um, dealt to me. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, hope you enjoyed that match. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Um, yeah, so I've got a few more battles with the old capture card, but after that, it'll be nice to use the new one. So long. This light is dreadfully bumpy. I'll go have a word with the captain. <gasps> a penguin? And he's been drinking. Wait a minute. Penguins can't fly. Penguins can't fly!